Hi there Aries, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your intuitive love tarot reading for July 2020. It's for my coupled Aries. So those of you that are in a commitment, a marriage, dating or seeing someone, we're going to shuffle these cards until the first one flips or falls and then Aries, I'll be selecting three cards for your energy, how you might be feeling about the relationship, what's playing out from your perspective and then we will do the same for your person. So Aries, love, July, Aries. And if they come out in big stacks like that, Aries, I do put them back. That's just me dropping them. Aries, Four of Cups, a sense of maybe not being fulfilled. Well, it was in reverse. I'll put it around this way, guys, but I will remember that. Oh, and we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, interesting. Could be endings and beginnings here. Let's go to your person's energy. Hmm. Ace of Wands. All right. They are definitely going to want to rebuild, I would say. Absolutely, guys. Wow. We've got the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Aries, what I'm seeing here is that potentially there's a sense of you in your connection at the moment feeling a little bit withdrawn, maybe apathetic about it all, questioning whether this is really your person. Um, when I see this card in a love reading, it's almost like, you know, this person's looking down towards these three cups here and thinking, you know, is there something else I can manifest? Is there someone that is more aligned for me? Can I get more fulfillment somewhere else? So that's what I'm seeing here. There could have been somebody who, um, you know, your partner has been trying to get your attention to, you know, come in with, you know, more emotional offers or even an apology if there's been a fight or argument, but there's a sense here that you've already retreated your energy and you kind of closed down to it. That's what I'm seeing here. Now, here we have a Ten of Swords ending and the Knight of Cups. So this could mean a couple of things. We might get some clarifiers, guys, but with Ten of Swords can be an ending and a connection. However, I really, from looking at your partner's energy here, I don't think it's an ending in your relationship. So you could have gone through another type of ending that has impacted your relationship, but whatever is ending, and it could just be a cycle of something playing out in your relationship, because I feel that in the past, if you saw your partner's advances as something to be, um, to pull your energy away from, or something that you didn't feel like accepting, you're going to feel completely the opposite because you're now going to see them as the Knight of Cups, right? In all their glory again, seeing them through the, the, the eyes that you used to see them after their ending. So I am going to draw another card for that Ten of Swords ending. Get a bit more information, Aries. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords, please, for Aries. A victorious ending, moving on to a greater sense of joy, healing and harmony. Number six sits across the lovers, number six as well. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups please for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Cups, please, for Aries. Oh. Too many cards going everywhere. Sorry, Aries. Just give me one moment. Or oh, persevere with the messy shuffling. Here we go. The Emperor. Okay. Well, there we go. That's your card there, the Emperor. 
So Aries, what I'm seeing here is that maybe you have gained a victory over some kind of harsh ending that you've been going through in your life that has affected the relationship. So the Ten of Swords could be something going on in the workplace, um, it could be a betrayal in a friendship, or maybe even your partner's betrayed you, that's an, that's an option there as well. There could have been a betrayal or a deception, deception in the relationship, they could have tried to apologize to you or come back in with an offering of love which you weren't accepting but there's a sense here of victory over that ending over that completion over what happened there's a sense here of victory and you coming back into your Aries um, power the Emperor is you kind of stepping up again stepping back in the control seat and getting ready to lead and when the Emperor makes up their mind to do something my goodness they go and do it and what that is that you're wanting to do the Aries is now make an offer to your person so i feel like you've turned a corner and you are now ready to advance towards them again so not sure what that blip was aries you will know what it is for you but something went down there was some kind of ending it could have even been a health situation i think there's been healing and victory over that you're stepping back in your power and now you're ready to re-engage or reconnect with the relationship again and your partner is going to receive you with open arms and a lot of fiery passion here. I mean, that Ace of Wands says, hey, you know what? There is a new beginning to be had here. Um, pa passion, chemistry, sexual energy, it's all there. The Ace of Wands is a fiery new start, you know, the, the, the flames, the sparks flying and all of that. And that Three of Pentacles to me says that you guys are coming back together to rebuild. To rebuild a new foundation after that kind of period of um, stepping away from each other or whatever it was that you were journeying Aries this is you coming back together and working it out and, and really rebuilding because you are the magician here um, this month Aries and it says that you can recreate you can um, you know you can manifest this you can create this exactly as you want it to be but as far as your your partner is concerned they see you as their um, divine other you know the divine counterpart here with the lovers energy as well you know it can mean that maybe there was a decision on their part whether they wanted to rebuild or not but i really feel that they are all in with this aries and it's just that you were journeying something but you've come back and you're really going into a state of victory now and you've decided to move back towards the relationship rather than away from it so that's what i'm seeing here aries it's quite a specific little reading it is what it is i think you're really ready to get back into that emperor energy shape this shape this relationship as you want it to be not allow it to shape you whatever you've gone through it had an impact but now you're moving into magician mode let's draw some romance angels to finish off this kind of strange little reading first one let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold unfold naturally Right, I'm totally going to call that Aries on your part with that Emperor card there. Now, I really feel that, you know, just just make sure that you don't, you know, have too much control or try and orchestrate things too much. I know I'm an Aries, guys. That's why I'm calling you guys out. I, I know how it is. Um, sometimes you just have to let go and let God, let things unfold. You know, you can still have been control, but you don't have to, you know, try and orchestrate everything. And that's that can be um, a really good piece of advice to take into a relationship. Let's get another one out. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. They could well. But keep an open mind. You know, that's another thing about being flexible and not controlling and just seeing what comes up and going with flow here's our last one guys getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens yeah i mean there's a new beginning here and some of you might be getting to know each other again sharing a deeper level of your heart with those emotional offers that we see coming in here and that can is what might really bring you back together deepen the um, connection and actually reawaken that aliveness and that chemistry between you guys as well. Aries, it's a funny little reading, I'll admit that, but um, 
you'll know if it's your reading something went down in your life you're moving back towards a connection now you're back in control but don't be too in control your person's pretty crazy about you i feel that they're, they're in this they really want to reconnect and get the the chemistry going and you're the magician in the situation you hold the key and i feel like you're the missing piece once you come back to it that's when things will will patch up Okay Aries, I'm going to leave it there. I do hope you enjoyed the reading. Keep in mind it's a general reading for a collective. It won't be everyone's reading and that's absolutely okay. Feel free to send me a um, comment. Send me a comment. Send me a message. Comment on my videos. <laughs> and um, I like to hear if it's resonating for you and it helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energies. I do read them all. I try to respond to them all as well. And I will be back here for another couples reading next month with you.